Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make sun catchers on vellum paper. I've been calling it balloon paper, but I don't think that's how you say it, but it's kind of fancy, so. Um, I use charfies and alcohol ink markers, but you can also use parchment paper and other coloring supplies you have. So don't feel restricted just to this kind of paper. You can use something else too. Um, and just remember there is one rule in art and that's there's no rules at all. So just have fun. So I'm gonna start with my Sharpie on this paper. I usually put a white piece of paper underneath um, because my paint table is all kind of messed up and it's kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna use a Sharpie. You can use a pencil if you're more comfortable with that to start off with. So I'm gonna start off with a line, wavy line right down the center. Then I'm gonna add the sun, so kind of like a semicircle. A mountain here, a mountain there. I'm going to do the rays of the sun. Then we're going to add the waves of the water. And I'm going to add some grass or land, just to give it some different colors. Now, the more lines you put in this, the more colors you can add. So I like to add lots and lots and lots of colors. So it looks kind of messy at first, but we're going to fill this in and we're going to do the black lines again too. So once you've completed the black lines, you need to flip it over. And this is the side you're going to do, fill in all the colors. So we're going to do that now. So I'm using alcohol ink markers on this and they are very, very easy to blend. And if you mis do a mistake or, although there's no mistakes, um, say there's a part that you don't like, you can always cover it up with these with a different color. So they blend really, really nice. So I'm just adding different colors into the different areas. And right now we don't have to worry about going over the black lines because they're on the other side, so they're not going to smudge on us. So I'm just adding all the colors that I want and blending everything together. Now if you want solid colors, you can do that too. You don't have to blend. So once you have all the colors and the 
you know, it's done the way that you like it, you're going to get your Sharpie again, and on the side that you just did the color, you're going to start going over those lines again. Just thickening them up a bit. And so where everything connects, anywhere there's a little connection, we're going to do a little rounded area. It's almost like doodling when you're younger. So make those lines a bit thicker. Now if you don't want to use black and you wanted to use another color of Sharpie, you can do that too. So I'm going to round off all those connections. And thicken up all the lines that I just did. And now before you do this Sharpie uh, mark uh, marker, just wait like maybe two minutes for your, if you're using marker to dry on the the paper or else you might lift some of the color off with your hands I'm going to round all those areas so it looks nice and stained glassy So after you're finished and you want to do um, maybe some inspirational words or some words of affirmation and you want to put it in your window, you can do that. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put this is a new day. So I just finished them and I have them in the window now. And just remember, you can add whatever colors you want, add whatever spin on it you want, words of affirmation, words of encouragement to get yourself up in the morning. Just remember that this is your work and it's unique to you and you can shine however you like. Hope everyone has a wonderful day and thanks for creating with me.